Hi friends, this is Amit again here in the YouTube channel Odyssey Technologies. So guys, I have a topic today to discuss with you guys and uh, shrinkage or attrition. That today we're going to learn here how do we calculate shrinkage rate and how do we calculate attrition rate. Let's suppose guys, if you are still working as an assistant manager in a company, maybe a team lead in a BPO, in a call center, in a KPO or whether you are going for uh, giving an interview for a team leader or whatever the position is so if it would be like as a managerial task then you must have to know that how would you calculate the shrinkage and how would you calculate the attrition which is the most important thing nowadays whenever you would be on the part of the managerial task job in a company right so today what we're gonna do is let's learn guys then how do we uh, calculate it so you can see this in the uh, sheet what i have written down here I have written down the shrinkage which is obviously called absenteeism as well. So shrinkage, what that what does that mean? Shrinkage that means like a planned leaves or unplanned leaves. So it is basically uh, called a combination or a addition of a planned leaves or an plan leaves let's suppose if you're working in a company or if you have some employees or maybe if you have some colleagues of yours or your agents they all are working in under you and uh, let's suppose if your agents is going to ask you that sir or ma'am i would not be able to come tomorrow so if you approve that it would be a plan leave or suddenly you get a call or text message from your agents that uh, they're not coming or whatever the reason is so which is called unplanned leave so in uh, I would say the addition of a planned leaves or unplanned leaves would be called shrinkage or absenteeism. Now what exactly it is and how do we calculate is so you're gonna see this over here guys so what I have done is I have written down entire things uh, to total shrinkage that would be planned leaves and and planned leaves total combination means a sum of planned leaves or unplanned leaves would be a total shrinkage now how do we calculate it you can see in the top what I have done is I have written the total agents we have in the month let's suppose any month let's suppose in the March so 1st March to 30th March that we have agents 120 and uh, planned leaves we have in the month that, would, that is 15 so unplanned if I talk about that what I have mentioned here that is uh, 10 so now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna see how do we calculate a plan leave so you're gonna see the guys formula plan leaves upon total agents multiply by 100 that's the way to calculate a plan leave so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a symbol or a sign of uh, is equal to and uh, as per the formula plan leave so what is the plan leave number that is 15 that i'm gonna mention here and uh, divided by total number of agents that we have in a month so that is 120 obviously so i'm gonna put here 120 and uh, multiply by 100 so that's the way to calculate a plan leaves and i'm gonna hit enter see i have entered hit you know i have entered or hit entered you can see so that is a plan leave 12.5 now the same way we're gonna calculate unplanned leaves so obviously i'm gonna put uh, equal to sign and uh, unplanned leaves you can see this in the formula here in the right hand side unplanned leaves divided by total number of agents and multiply by 100 so what is the number of unplanned leaves so unplanned leaves would be a 10 and uh, uh, divided by total number of agents which we have that is the roasted one 120 multiply by 100 so let me just uh, hit enter so you can see this here guys 12.5 and 8.3 so if i would uh, sum of both would be a total shrinkage that's the absenteeism we have in a month okay that that's the total one so let's me let me just go and calculate it i put a plus symbol here and uh, select this one and again plus and again select this one and hit enter okay so you're gonna see this that is guys total shrinkage is 20.83 so that's the way that we calculate shrinkage or absenteeism that how to calculate it so that was the easy task i guess so this would be a formula which you must have to learn attrition formula how would you calculate that how many people are leaving or resigning in a month and how would you calculate that rate so the formula is a total resignation divided by number of agents in the beginning plus agents in the end which uh, which are left and divided by two and total would be multiplied by 100 as per the uh, percentage basis so this would be a rate now how do we calculate this guys so let me show you up here you're gonna see this here in the month 
the total agents we have that is a 120 and look at this second cell which i have agents who join in a month that is called new join is which is a number of 35 and the agents who join resigned in the same month so let me just uh rectify the error here the agents who resigned in the month you're gonna see this here so the agents who resigned okay the number is 30 and the total agents in the same month at the left that is 125 how did we calculate here now you can see this in the month uh in the beginning of the month we have a 120 agents all right and uh, after 35 would be a new journey so this would be calculated this would be a sum of 120 and 35 would be sum right and minus from this a 30 so total would be 125 let's suppose uh, you can see this a b1 b1 and b2 would be uh, calculate as per the sum formula or you can addition it and then we are gonna subtract or deduct uh, this number 30 that means uh, b3 would be deducted from both of the uh, cells b1 and b2 and we will have 125 that is called total agents we have in the entire month end right so now how do we calculate or how do we you know uh, find out that what is going to be attrition rate in the month so guys you can see this here now i have a uh, manage or i have already put in the formula here now how do we calculate so i'm going to erase it first now you're going to see i'm going to put a symbol or a logo or a sign of I equal to so what i'm going to do let's go through a formula total resignations the total resignations we have how many resignations we have 30 so let me put a 30 here and divided by so let me put a sign of divided by and in the bracket agents in the beginning so how many agents we have in the beginning that is a 120 obviously so i'm gonna start a bracket and that's a 120 plus agents in the end how many of them uh, 125 you can see uh, this b4 125 and bracket would be closed and divided by 2 right so i'm gonna put divided by 2 and multiply by 100 so if you do this like this you can see this we got a 6.12 but guys this is uh incorrect value which we received because here we have to run or go according to board mass formula which we learned in our schooling maybe sixth or seventh standard or maybe ninth standard which we already learned so we're gonna run here we're gonna go through as per the board mass formula so let me just edit it here you're gonna see this now i have mentioned here two and there is a next symbol which i mentioned that is a multiplication multiply symbol so before that i'm gonna put a new bracket that's the biggest one this bracket and here i'm gonna come and put another bracket that's the biggest one here so you can see guys remember we're gonna put two brackets so that in order to get the right number if we forget to put these uh, second bracket in uh, terms of calculating the things then we obviously gonna have an incorrect value so now let's go and uh, let me just uh, hit enter now you're gonna see this the attrition rate we have that is a 24.49 that means almost 25 percent is the attrition rate we have and guys that was the way to calculate the attrition rate so whenever you're gonna join any company so you first of all before going to give any interview you must have to learn it or if you're already working as a manager or a team leader in the company so obviously you guys have to know that how do we calculate it right so i hope guys that was very easy to learn and this video was uh, useful and i hope you guys have learned so guys if you like the video so please go and like and subscribe the channel and uh, share the video with your friends or colleagues so that they also would have an opportunity to learn more and more about the microsoft excel and the shrinkage and absenteeism rate calculation thank you guys